Every year we come up with our top 10 strategic technologies for the coming year. The top 10 technology list includes emerging technologies that need to be considered or existing technologies that may be reaching some sort of a tipping point or where there's an important change occurring that people need to think about. As we go from year to year, some technologies come off the list, new ones come on. Going off the list, by the way, doesn't mean the technology is no longer strategic. It just doesn't mean it rises to the top list of new things that people need to really be thinking about. Of the top four technologies on our list, two of them are largely the same from what we've had in the, the previous years, but with some new aspects I'll talk about, and two of them are more new. In fact, one is brand new that we hadn't really talked about in previous years. Top of the list will, uh, will be no surprise to many people, it's cloud computing. It's one of the most hyped terms in the industry today. It's on our top ten list, not simply because everyone is talking about it, but because we do think that it will have a broad, profound, deep, long-term impact on the industry. That does not mean that everything moves to external cloud computing services and internal IT systems go away. Far from it. We're going to still be doing a lot with internal systems and hybrid systems using external and internal uh, services of various types will become very important. Nevertheless, this whole phenomenon of cloud computing is in fact very important and people have to look at what the external services are, how they learn from that to perhaps build internal private cloud computing environments, and what sort of new application architectures are implied by cloud computing. Second on the list is green IT. We actually are changing it around a little bit this year. Instead of green IT, we talk about IT for green. Now looking at the energy consumption of information technology is still very important. And some industries like financial services use a lot of technology and so the energy utilization there is quite important. But for many companies, energy from IT is only about 2% and you've not got to focus now on the other 98% of your carbon generation and energy use. So how can information technology be used to impact that part of the business? That's the strategic imperative for 2010 and beyond. Finally, the fourth item on our list is not an individual technology, but it's a series of technologies that come together in client computing. And we think that it's imperative for companies to come up with a five-year strategic plan for their client computing environment. What's happening here is a number of trends and technologies are converging and reaching certain tipping points and changes over the next few years. A lot more virtualization down on the desktop, the use of server-based provisioning, thin client computing models, more cloud computing applications, mobile devices replacing or augmenting the use of certain uh, desktop de uh, devices, Macintosh and other non-Windows environments growing in the market, and finally, Windows itself going through a big migration with Windows 7. So with all of those things going on, if you aren't building your strategic roadmap on how they fit together for a cl client environment in the future, you're simply writing your vendor's roadmaps, and that may not work for you.